Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive, live in studio, CRH CEO Jim Mintern. I mean, these gigantic projects, whether they are chip making facilities or data centers, has got to really be a trend that you're embracing. Yeah, absolutely, Liz. Uh, delighted to be here. Um, yeah, we're the number one uh, building materials uh, company in uh, the U.S. and particularly on in infrastructure. When, so when you take infrastructure, you know you think uh, roads, you think water, and you take uh, energy and communications. You think about the data size and kind of high spec chip plants. You know, also uh, car plants. We're often the very first people on that side. So we're in there early on the side, putting in the water, the energy, the communications infrastructure under the ground into these plants. And you know the amount of water and energy to power these plants. So we're nationwide. We have over 2,000 locations. So there aren't many big infrastructure projects that we're not touching today. Your biggest operation is in Texas. Yeah. Boy, huh? We, we just heard about a huge data center, Stargate, going up in Abilene, Texas. In fact, Fox Business was there yesterday to get a tour of the groundbreaking and all that's happening. You know, we see this going up. Do you get a piece of that action? Yeah, Texas is our biggest state for us. It's number one state, and uh, we're you know across the whole of Texas. Um, you know, our biggest facility globally actually is just north of Austin. Uh, we did a very large acquisition last year between Austin and San Antonio, so it's an or right in our sweet spot. So yeah, we're working on most of the big data projects in Texas. Tell me about the construction that goes into these facilities. What materials are being used that you provide? Yeah, we provide. That's th that's one thing that differentiates us. We're not just providing one particular product, whether it's stone or. or concrete we actually so we're in there early as I said in there putting in all the subterranean infrastructure for water energy communications soil stabilization then you get into actually building the facility itself so everything from stone to concrete to precast structures that's what we do you, you mentioned water twice now yes you're doing the storm water system at LAX but we know that with data centers they use a voluminous amount of water to cool these gigantic servers that put off a ton of heat um, tell me exactly what you are able to do for these cooling systems. Yeah, what we do is we bring the water onto the site. So we convey this water in, so we're putting all the infrastructure all the way from the water source, from the dam, all the way to the actual location. That's what we do. Um, in fact, you know, if you look at it, I said we're number one in roads in the U.S., you know, 85% of all roads have water infrastructure flowing under them. And that's why we do that. We connect from the water to the roads from that perspective. So it's about get the conveyance and the transport of the water onto the site. Your soup to nuts. Yeah, on the, like on the infrastructure side. On that's the infrastructure us. side yes. of the Samsung chip making plant in Texas. Yes. How's that coming along? You know, I'm not going to mention any specific projects, but as I said, uh, Austin is a real big hub for us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a yes, and that's a, it's going pretty well. Um, the tariffs. One of the things, one of the reactions that President Trump's tariffs elicited was foreign companies trying to mitigate their costs. And so they announced project after project that they said would be coming to the United States. How much of that are you grabbing? Yeah, we get, again, because of the nature of our product offering. As I said, we connect a lot of our businesses, so we're not just doing one particular part of the value chain. I think, you know, we win more than our fair share of that. So we get pulled from state to state by contractors who are building this because they have good experiences with us. So it's been good for us. As I said, we're particularly busy in the whole data center space uh, in kind of high spec reindustrialization projects. That's good for us. Okay, so let's just say you're, you're watching TV and you see Fox Business announce that there is some huge infrastructure project that company X from the Middle East says it will build in the United States. How quickly are you on the phone saying we want that business? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, there we, we cover the whole, as I said, we're nationwide uh, touching all the states. So it's inevitably most most project infrastructure is locally at the end of the day. Right. You know, construction is local and infrastructure is local. So you have that's, to have the operations. You have there. to have the operations because the products are heavy, Liz. Right. So that's why, you know, we have 2000 locations across the US. So that gives us a huge competitive advantage from that perspective to be competitive on those tenders. The schlep factor. That is that is a technical <laughs> term. So so you say we we schlep shorter distances. Uh, you just bought a company. Let's talk about that one. This company is eco. It's economically uh, sorry, um, ecologically yeah. better cement and of course aggregate and concrete. Talk yeah, about it. eco materials. We announced the closing of that deal last week. So uh, super excited about it, Liz. Um, what it does is. Uh, you know, the U.S. has a structural deficit for cementitious products. It has to import about 25% of its annual requirement. What this does is that it has a very significant, it impieces uh, our 
uh, capacity in the US by about 60% and really puts us in a real strong leadership position. Uh, it is uh, more ecological, but it's also got beneficial project, uh, properties for concrete itself. It makes it more durable, you know, it makes it easier to work with, it can improve setting times. But uh, the real reason we bought that business is that this is the segment of the US cementitious market which is going to go quickest between now and 2050. We think that market's going to double in size in that period, and this was an opportunity to buy the leader in that particular space. So we're super excited, and it's really complementary to our existing business. And you're processing and recycling all kinds of ash and things that are like 7 million tons of fly ash, 3 million tons of synthetic gypsum. That's what yes. this company does. And is there a demand for that? There's a huge demand for that. There's a real pull factor for that. Uh, customers love using it. So, in, as I said, it's the actual qualities that it brings to working with contract, or concrete rather, in addition to the kind of sustainability benefits as well. What about self-healing concrete? We were talking about that in our morning meeting. And, I mean, when I heard about this, I said, wait a minute, what? There's a crack and then it naturally heals? Do you guys make that? We do. Yeah, absolutely. How and does it work? It works. Uh, it's a blend of existing uh, concrete with additional additives, mix admixtures that you bring to it. Absolutely. Yeah. It just, a, a crack happens and then it... And it can be patched up. It can be repaired. Absolutely. Fantastic. Instead of being completely replaced. It's yeah. great to see you. And by the way, the stock up more than 20%. Uh, quarter to year to date and I, I really think it's interesting considering you guys pulled yourselves off the listing of the London Stock Exchange and you're celebrating your two years here on the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, we're two years today in fact, it's two years and uh, you know, it, with that timing, so next Tuesday we're going to have a couple of markets stay here, uh, just a couple of blocks away and really have an opportunity to look under the hood and give a, you know, what really drives the kind of secret sauce of CR, CRH, so that's next Tuesday. You're going to get a lot of people calling for the self-healing concrete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank nice you. to see you, Liz. Thank you very much.